Hello everyone, welcome to FOC class 11. Today we are going to start part 8 of Java for class 11 IT. So let us begin. First of all, let us discuss about the topics that we are going to study today. Creating a new project, creating a new form, adding a button component to a form. We have already discussed these topics in the very beginning when we started Java. But we are going to discuss these topics again as these are given in your book. Also by again practicing them, they will be more clear to you and some of the concepts that we are going to study now, they will be new to you. So let us start with our first topic, creating a new project. To create a new application project called book. So first of all, what are we creating? We are creating a new application project and its name will be book. So for this, first of all, choose file, then new project. You have to go to the menu bar. You have to click on file and then you have to click on new project. Also, there is an alternative. You can click on the new project icon in the toolbar this icon you can click on so that you can create new project then in the second step from the category Spain select Java here in the category Spain you have to select the option Java with and you can select the option according to the version of NetBeans you are having if you are having any old version, it may be displaying only Java. And if you are having any new version, then you might be displayed with Java with Ant. Then in the project Spain, choose Java application. Here in the project Spain, you will select Java application and then you will click on the next button. After clicking on the next button, this form will appear. Here you have to fill the project name, project location, all these things. Enter a name, in this case book, in the project name field and specify the project location by clicking on the browse button. So here in the project name field, first of all, you will provide the project name and here in this example, it is book. Then in the project location, you will provide the location where the project should be saved. So here, by default, the project is saved in the NetBeans project folder in my documents. And so this is the default project location displayed in this field. You can see here we are having the same default project location as given by NetBeans only. That is documents and NetBeans project. This is the default location that is provided by the NetBeans and we are using this location for storing our project. Ensure that set as main project checkbox is selected means you have to set it as main project and clear the create main class field click finish. So here in the create main class generally it is checked. So you have to uncheck it, you have to clear the check and then after it you will click on finish. After clicking on finish, NetBeans creates the book folder on your system in the designated location. This folder will contain all of the associated files of the project. Means whichever files of the project are there, they will all be contained in this folder only the next step is to create a form now we have created a project so now we are going to create a form in our next step to proceed with building our form we need to create a container within which we will place the other required components of the form like a button as we talked in the very beginning that there are container controls and child controls so we need these container controls to place other components within them. So here we are going to build our form using JFrame form means we will be using the JFrame form as the container control and we will be placing other components 
on this form. So let us move to our next topic creating a new form. To create a JFrame form container in the projects window right click the book node and choose new JFrame form. So here you will have to click on the name of the project right click you have to do and then you will click on new and you will select JFrame form. This option you have to select. Enter form example 1 as the class name. This will be the name of your form. So here in the class name field you will provide the name. Here the name of the class is form example 1 and the project is book. Enter book as the package. Here in the package, you have to write book. This should be the name given while creating the project. Click finish means whenever we are going to create the project, then only the name is given to the package also. Then you have to click on finish. Now we are proceeding to our next topic adding a button component to a form. We have created a new project. We have created a new form. Now we are going to add various controls. Here we are going to first of all add the button component to that form. In the palette window, select the J button component from the swing controls category. Here in the palette where various categories are there. Swing containers, swing controls, swing menus, swing windows, swing fillers and many more. So, out of these, we have to select the swing controls and then we will select J button. Now, move the cursor over the form. When you have selected J button from the palette, you have to move the cursor over the form so that you can place the J button on the form. When the guidelines appear, these dotted lines are called as guidelines. These appear. So when these appear, the J button is positioned in the desired place. Click to place the button. Wherever you want to place the button, you can click there. The J button is added to the form. When you click, then the J button is added to the form which you have just made. As soon as the button is added on the form, a corresponding node representing the component is added to the inspector window. We studied about inspector window in the discussion of NetBeans IDE. So this is the inspector window and here when we have added the J button then a corresponding node which will rep be representing that component that J button it will appear here. So here you can see this node is created and this is representing our J button. So this is how our NetBeans IDE window looks after creating the project, creating the new form and adding the button to the form. Here first is projects window. In this window all the projects are shown and when we click on this plus button then their project contents are also visible to us. Also you may note that single project can have multiple forms means it is not necessary that one project can have only one form. It can also have multiple forms. Then comes our inspector window. It displays a tree hierarchy of all components contained in the currently opened form. As we discussed in the discussion of NetBeans IDE that this inspector window displays the tree hierarchy of all the components. So here also all the components hierarchy is represented here. We have uh, chosen the J frame as parent control, the J button as child control. This is also displayed here and this is the tree hierarchy of the components that are contained in the currently opened form. Displayed items include visual components and container as well as non-visual components such as timers means both of the components visual as well as non-visual both are displayed here in this inspector window 
the non visual components include timers then comes our palette window the swing controls palette contains all the components that can be added to the form here all the components are available here which we can add to our form and whenever we are going to click on any of these plus button then various controls are represented here and we can select any of them then this is the properties window here properties are displayed this is the design area it is the place where we add all the components of the form like the button means in the design area as its name is suggesting we are going to design our form so basically here we add all the components that we require to add to our form we add all the components in this design area to make our form thank you that was all for today i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any doubt you can let us know in the comment section or messages on telegram app we'll meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye